So today we're looking at some plumbing basics for your home and the topic of solder versus compression fittings has come up. Now these two are very different ways of joining water pipes, each with its pros and cons. Let's have a look. Solder is a metal alloy, usually made of tin and lead, which is then melted using either a heat gun, a blowtorch or a hot iron if you're working with electrics. Copper pipes can be joined together using solder fittings and it does take a bit of practice, but once you get the hang of it, it's quite simple. Soldering does require that you turn off the water supply and drain the pipes because it's very tricky to solder if the pipe is full of water. Now I've made this frame with a length of 22mm pipe just to demonstrate. To solder a join, simply give the end a light sanding, make sure that it's clean. I can then apply the flux, slip on the fitting, give it a bit of a turn and wipe off any excess flux. Heat up the joint using the blowtorch and keep testing. Tap the solder against the joint and when it's hot enough, the wire will simply melt and run inside the joint. Now make sure that you leave that to cool off before you touch it. Now soldering is not only limited to plumbing, you can even create an art piece. Take a look at this beautiful side lamp that Kevin created. Compression fittings are also used to join piping together and they're also used in stop valves and water taps. They consist of a body, ferrules and an outer nut. One major advantage of compression fittings is that you can join copper to polycarp. But remember, polycarp is not certified for hot water. Compression fittings require basic tools such as a plumber's wrench or a shifting spanner and installation is easy. The first step is to shut off the water supply. Loosen the nuts until you can freely move the ferrule inside the housing. Slip it into the pipe, ensuring that it's all the way in. And as you tighten the nut, it compresses the ferrule around the pipe and it is the ferrule that creates the seal. Now these need to be fastened quite tight. Compression fittings, much easier to install and they make for a reliable seal. However, a solder joint is more steady, able to take a bit of movement and it will last you longer if done properly. Now both solder and compression joints are available in a variety of bends, angles, crossovers, etc. However, ball oval valve and tabs are usually limited to compression type fittings. Basic plumbing is something we can all do. Just takes a bit of planning and practice and Builders has all the tools and plumbing fittings you may need in store or online at builders.co.za. And for more videos like this, check out the blog and the website. Get to Builders Get it done.